Jujutsu, for centuries, was one of the arts of the Japanese army which kept the practice a study until the Second World War. Its origin is lost in time, leaving trace that the Jujutsu rose in India or even by the Japanese Indians. One way or another, the flexible art or soft art, as it is translated, differs as shown in the contemporary era. Traditional Jujutsu is included in the Koryu program, aiming the conservation of the original classical forms. The old way was related to the maintenance of the living thought of Bujutsu as defensive property of battlefield. Therefore, it cannot be considered sport or a modern art. By definition, a method of unarmed combat represents a systematic and ingenious method in applying the human body as a weapon. This type of combat, without the use of arms, was adopted on first order to resolve the problems of violent situations. Armed and unarmed fighting seem to have coexisted since the early history, integrating or replacing each other according to the demands of time, place and circumstances. Indeed, the observation that the human body could operate with fighting ability as a primary weapon and that the mastery of its elements and functionalities would be able to turn a man violently and subdue another man while simultaneously applied it in self-defense. Torite refers to imprison, imprisonment. Each school follows its characteristics of techniques and classical seitegata which were convenient in the past. This conservation nowadays has generated intense doubts and conflicts between teachers and students. It is natural and understandable this fact considering the arrival of modernity and the new method of imprisonment, handcuffs, clamps. The torite, which represents the past in the form of techniques, have been seen through vision as an effective device, almost obsolete, and therefore questioned and abandoned. The understanding does not generate a conflict. The conflict brings dissatisfaction with the practice. Regarding the ancient techniques, it is necessary to consider that studying is not merely perform a movement, it is to know its essence. However, we must remember that the historical value only exists if the thought is also conserved. Ryu of Seite 
has a specific explanation and guideline that promotes the maintenance of the reasons why this technique is performed based on a specific angle with a specific arm and positioning. To perform high anua techniques, lookups or even a sequence does not characterize the former and does not diminish the effort of those who develop techniques to this contemporary era. However, the function of Seite Gata, mainly Torite, is to preserve the form of police action at the time to keep anthropological background as the varial form of imprisonment and expression in a correlated situation. We ask a question, but how we could know if this is correct or true? It will be very difficult to prove what actually was done in such periods. Just follow the stream that has come down to today. That's why it's inappropriate to discredit those who try somehow to do something like that. This was the natural way, and today it's common to find each teacher trying to construct their own path. However, we must remember also that someone has done a great effort to keep them as they are. The world evolves, and certainly with him, many new forms emerge and it is important that the rise to renew all concepts. However, when we talk about conservation, we refer to protection against deterioration. Many teachers believe that conservation must come first in the interior of those who practice the ancient ways. That means we should focus to control our thoughts. Obviously, when these forms are direct to an actual practice, as Kakuto no Bujutsu, that in case all forms and all of them are welcome as their chains. So we should separate these two aspects. Some say it's a question of morality to the practice.